going to say creative commons open educational resources nowadays everything is available on the internet but it doesn't mean that we have to take all those things for our personal preparation of the document or some other work it comes under the plagiarism it is an offense stealing someone's intellectual property this should be avoided so how we can avoid this thing and generally speaking no need to invest development effort in creating something that already exist then why we have to put effort to create an our own we can get it in a right way without any violating laws so such materials also available in the internet but to search in a right way so we can get the appropriate materials for our personal use whatever may be the subject whatever may be the topic we can get the right trial right information from the inter- um, materials generally called as oer material open educational resources and this comes with as license how can we identify this material is open education oer material it generally comes with a certificate the cc certificate so how to identify where to identify where that cc materials are available that we will see now see these are the oer repositories see if i looking at the these are the many information not only these so many uh, websites are there they are giving the free of cost stuff material materials to everybody so if you are going to some sites you see this is one more another site here also we can see the resources what are maybe the topic we can search and we can make use of this so these are some of the sites i will show you the list of sites generally see it's a government of india indian government the indian higher education teachers and open educational resources this is this is the link so the indian government also giving some materials like that globally also we can see the globally also so many the top most sites are there we can get almost all the subject so this links also i am sharing with you just to go through them and visit one by one site according to your requirement it's amazing and uh, see if you are coming back to the slide these are the certificates these are the certificates common creative commons certificates generally if you are going to some sites you can notice this kind of the symbols you see are you noticing here the cc and one symbol here also cc and one symbol so what are the cc cc is nothing but creative commons that implies that that stuff that material is free to use anyone can use but with some conditions apply what are the conditions there are four different kind of conditions four different kind of certification the license availability is there so those symbols represents the particular the privilege see the cc is nothing but it comes under the creative commons and this one is the acronym is by the by means as attribute we can use attribution we can use the material we can use the term the refer, the, the stuff material but we have to give the credit to the author this can be reused this can be used for your purpose but we have to give the citation properly we have to cite okay and the next one is c no derivative works no derivative works in sense we can use it but we should not modify it we can use the content we can use the material but we should never modify that so and the citation is also supposed to be given because you see the by also is there so use and give the credit and next one is some uh, the writers you know they will be copying and they will be using for the commercial purpose so this symbol the dollar symbol the cross dollar symbol so this implies that we can use the stuff but not for any commercial purpose okay so this is a symbol and this one is see, the equal symbol we can share but as it is we have to use we should never change any order any words anything so that is how this is a symbol so you see initially we are getting only one he is simply giving you cite give the credit to the user give the credit to the writer and you can make use of that and next more one more like the criteria i added here one more criteria added you see number of license also adding going on adding the conditions also implies if it is very simple we can use 
without this simple simply cc in the sense that can be used that is available in the public domain okay so see this is how we can notice the bottom of the website generally and uh, this symbol this picture represents uh, what are the applicability see here it is only one the c is there the c means as a copyright copyright so no certification given we cannot touch that copyright material okay so if you are using this kind of material you will be coming under the plagiarism that is an offense okay so these licenses they are giving license but some privileges based on some privileges based on the symbols we can understand how extent we can make use of that material okay so now we are searching in the google how we are searching in the google simply we can give some search keyword and uh, that will be showing the results and whatever may be the it may be a uh, image or audio file or a video file anything just we are taking and we are using but the google also giving privilege giving see if you are coming to the home page of the google the bottom right bottom you can see the settings you just click that and go to advanced search now we can get this dialog box so here we can mention for example whatever networking networking devices or networking protocols okay so we are searching for the keyword then come down if you are coming down you can see the various options also is there what language you are searching for the material from which region south region or european material or from us or indian so like that we can um give various criteria various conditions and what format you are looking for pdf or ppt or word document that also you can mention the bottom of cc usage rights so here the uh, creative common the license comes okay so not filtered by license or free to use and share so if you are using this one that material will be free to use and you can share also the next one like that it is going on you see you can use even for the commercial purpose and if it is not for commercial purpose that will be that we should never use for the commercial purpose so you can use anyone for example i'm using this one and uh, give this advanced search now we are getting some output network protocol networking protocol see these are the materials we can use without any problem you can see so like this you can do that this you can practice later and i am moving further and uh, in case if you are searching for youtube how we can do that in youtube see in youtube also we can see i am going to youtube here i am typing rabbit uh, rabbit play okay so this is how rabbit playing with bat so this kind of videos i am looking for for my purpose so if you are given the keywords we can see this symbol you know this is open search filters you just click this we are getting this many options with menus here if you are coming to the features the features option the menu you see the creative common this is cc you just click this so that the creative commons the creative commons uh, material only will be displayed so you can take and you can use it still so many other options also is there other option, options also available if you are looking for video that video also should be less than 4 minutes or greater than 4 minutes or greater than 20 minutes so these are the various options you can fix okay so right. so this is how in youtube also we can filter and we can get cc kind of thing right if you are a creator you are creating a youtube now how we can put a cc for your video creation so while you are updating it will ask what kind of material you are uploading what kind of privilege you are giving by the time it will be one option will be there you can select the creative commons so that your video also become the cc but if you are taking that video uh, if you are playing that video we can notice that the cc also so i am playing this playing this come down i am pausing to look at the sound show more here you see you see creative commons attribution license clear yeah. so if you are noticing this this video can be downloaded and you can use for your purpose you can uh, use it for your class or is presentation wherever it is see in my video also i have given 
um, the complete creative commons attribution license are used. So at the time of the creation, you can do that easily. Okay, right. And coming back to this. And uh, so uh, here, I have taken so many of the websites. So because we have these many options of these many websites. So if you are visiting these according to a purpose, even it is a school teacher or the college teacher professor, or if you are writing a paper, article writing, or journal, or whatever if you are doing, if you are searching for the contents, we cannot sit and put our more effort uh, to create the content. We have the concept, we have some idea. So according to that, I need the material. So go to that particular website and get the material, prepare it, and you can submit it without any violation of law. Okay, right. So here I am going to show some sites. So this site is the open for us org. So in this site, see people are telling no need to invest development effort in creating something that already exists. Yes, of course. So here these are the things: general search or uh, photo image search. Even if you are going to the uh, the uh, the Fixabay or the Flickers, so many sites are there. You can search. You can get uh, appropriate images, right? So the video search also is there. You can click and we can go to the video search, audio music, the SoundCloud or some other places, or uh, um, the audio mixer, the CM mixer. The CM mixer, there you can find the free uh, uh, videos for your, uh, the video background music, MP3 kind of audio files, okay? So, so many sites are there. And the general education search, and even, even for if you are uh, creating a uh, curriculum, designing a course, you can have some idea. You can have some samples. You are writing, you are preparing the project for summer internship program, other is long term project, other is some other uh, engineering, BTEC, engineering project. So, whatever it is, so how the project should, should be, and what are the things supposed to be there to prepare a good project report. So, that kind of specimens, up, that kind of Samples also available throughout the globe. So you can go through that, you can see, you can prepare your document up to the standards, right? And the contents also you can get without any plagiarism compliance. You can get the material even if you are running uh, that document in a plagiarism checker, it won't raise any compliance, it won't raise any fault because everything is with licensed material we are using. Yeah. So here, if you are using this, it will be takes us to the Google search. Just now we have seen no advanced search. It will go into that place. You see Google advanced search. So how advanced search? Simply that's all. Advanced search. If you are clicking that, it will be simply going to that link. You can do um, that kind of material. So this is CC search. You can click this. You can see the CC kind of material. Uh, so this everything is available open for us dot org. Just go and uh, you can explore yourself. So many things are there. See the Pixabay for images and other things. Open clip art. The clip arts also we can find. And uh, Photopedia, UOL, Encyclopedia. So many, so many. Very interesting. Very interesting. Vimeo and even the YouTube search. Just now we have seen that, no? The Creative Commons on YouTube. So like that, many things are there. You just go according to the SoundCloud. is the audio file searcher. Okay. So this is one. And coming to next one. This one you see. This also one of the same kind of website community college uh, consortium for oer open educational resource open educational resource essentially oer so here also you can find and uh, these sites are giving some knowledge to the freshers if you are coming across this oer the first time you want to know more about the oer what is it where we can use why it is oer how it is impact and is how it prevents us from the plagiarism. So all these things, so many, uh, the initial things also will be given with examples, okay? So if you are taking this, it, it takes us to some sites. So there we can see, see OER repositories. This I have recorded in our uh, uh, slides also, see? Uh, here it is. So this was taken only from that, just to show the list. Like that, if you are coming to here, you can click this, it will be going to that particular site and uh, guru such k12 stage 12 materials also can be prepared and uh, knowledge to work so i see so and oer comments so many things interesting thing teaching comments and skills 
you just to see and explore it according to your requirement and this one is a common way of learning you can see you can download the pdf file according to your uh, the topic just like this you can type your keywords and you can get to search for a requirement and this is another site where your comments where your comments so here also we can describe we can discover according to our requirement see what are you looking for you can type the keywords and what subject it is it's applied science or arts life science or mathematics at which level you are looking for it's a lower primary upper primary or graduation adult education higher education all levels are there okay so what standard what standard um so us standards so or there is some other places pennsylvania so many standards are there you can see you can give it simply click this search it will be showing you can make use of it and here you see this uh, open source.com this is another site the same way it is a course and a subject guides so with this site you know the way your guides and subject guidelines also will be given you can find for curriculum designing uh, see the complete course also available you want to design a course for social sciences otherwise hospital management or edx or coursera so many many sites also available directly it takes us to that particular link you need not search on your own simply come to the site pitt dot lib guides dot com okay pitlib guide dot uh, pitlib guides dot com so if you are coming to this site you can search the many site links also available directly you can go to that particular sites instead of searching on our own and spending okay so this also one site and okay i am creator i am writing a document i am going to present going to publish some paper <clears throat> i want to give licensing i don't mind others using my work so by the time i have to indicate in the paper we cannot write anybody can use in the bottom footnote it doesn't work but instead we have to put the the symbols what symbols the creative commons license this license symbols we have to embed in our document like this in a website or paper so how we can do that see if you are coming to creative commons.org creative commons.org it will be coming to this site <clears throat> here you can share your work click that share your work and uh, it will be taking this place now simply click on it's a it's a free of cost if you want to donate something you can do that otherwise simply we can get the certificate for your work so click on it and this uh, get started now it is coming to this window here you can pick up your privileges what privilege you want to give what conditions you want to imply to your document i will show you uh, to get some privileges and you will put on your um, sample document we'll see that see license features what are the features allowed adoptions of your work to be shared yes i am allowing others i don't want i don't allow you select this see here what you are selecting according to the uh, the symbols also kind see if it is yes it is yes by right if it is no in the sense no i don't want to share if it is yes as long as other share as like others share as like as it is they have to use you see the circle the cyclic kind of arrow no this is implies that share alike share alike then uh, <clears throat> next one allow commercial uses of your work allow commercial use of your work so i am allowing anybody can use for commercial purpose also then you can say yes otherwise no in the sense you see one more item so dollar symbol cross dollar symbol come to the picture so four items no so like that you can various combinations you can select and this can be copied or if you want to if you are running a website you want to keep all these things in your website then you can take this code and you can put into your website so where is the code here it is so this is the code see this is the code html code this can be copied and you can paste at the appropriate place in your website so that these symbols this symbol you see this is the finally we are getting four along with the cc three along with the cc now see i am changing this i am changing this i want to allow by the time it becomes three here also you see only three here i am seeing 
yes see it becomes only one i don't want any put anything so this can be copied okay mm. okay so i'm telling more one more symbol added so we can have the copy of this html we can paste it now i am copying this copy the image and go to your document this is my sample document right i am double clicking the document in the bottom and pasting that pasting that and uh, i want to move this symbol no that is why behind the text so that is freely moving i can paste it over there and come out from the footer message now see if you are going to previous page here also we can see if you are taking a print out there also we can see the symbol that means we are giving common license cc create a common licenses so what is that you can use it and not for the commercial purpose clear so this is how we can import we can incorporate this one and if you are converting this into pp or pdf there also we can see this symbol okay so this is how it is working yeah so this is all about the creative commons this is how we can create the creative commons right so this is another site here um the subject which you can search and this also another site this is karnataka government has given the open education this is oer for their for their uh, on the state in a local language and the indian government also created n national institute of open schooling here you see the oer dot oer means open educational resource dot nios nios means national institute this one so this is central government also giving much more opportunity to all of us to get the um good information with with licensed information clear nptel so here also nptel dot ac dot in here also we can find so many informations all levels right and so only thing is we have to sit we have to gather we have to uh, pick up the right information from the right place okay mm, and this one is also government of india sites it is comes from the ministry of human resource development commencement of india so this is one site and this also government site indian government site here we can see oscar dot l i t b dot ac dot in you can go to this site you can see many kind of contents are there this is another site here also so many courses also available life sciences or geography food and nutrition entrepreneurship coordinate science commerce english what not everything is there right so these many documents also available just click and go and search and pick up your information this is very very famous mit open courseware here you can get the complete course designing from um, what are the contents what are the components supposed to be there for a course everything will be available here you visit and you can see you will be really enjoy this site mit open course fair right the next one is see here uh, the bichkan university department of education they are also they are giving the initial information um, to introduce the oer see how can we get the involved what are oer and why are oer important so this kind of information is available this also information this also very important while you are sharing with your Uh, students right and this is one more sailor amazing courses are available free of cost at your pace at your uh, time you can do that so different type of courses are there see get started you can register it will ask you the uh, what level and what course you are looking for data science you want to do otherwise some other course you can select your course you can do that and the registration also will be done the free of cost you can complete certificate also will be given globally recognized one yeah so this also sailor.org very nice site you can see and we can make you subject okay and uh, another one uh, this is an um, amazing on academy uh, videos also available all levels from ukg lkg first standard to uh, 12th standard or more than that also available you can give the keyword and you can search amazing videos other materials are available for learners also available or for teachers or parents or different categories just you go to that category you can pick your information you can enjoy that and here
So finally, we are coming to another site. This is overlift.com. Here, the registration is mandatory. You have to register. You can give your email ID and other thing. Simply, you can get to do that. Now, I want to see how the European students are preparing their project report, how the IITs are doing the format, uh, how the Japanese are doing that, how the papers, how the journals will be designing, the project will be designing. So all the all the materials you can see in from the overleaf. Actually, this is uh, comes under um, the latex, the latex course, the latex uh, the tool. In that we can get the information also. I am going to the route so that you can easily understand. You will definitely be enjoying this. See, I'm going to overleaf the project. I'm selecting the new project. I'm selecting new project. What project you want to see? See, I want to go to the project, or I want to go to the journals, or see the project. This is also in there. Right. This is the project. So these are the different kind of projects are there. You can click. You can see the complete file A to Z from draft to draft available. You can have a look at that. So uh, where we have to put the declaration, where the acknowledgement is supposed to be, where the certificate will be there, where the observation, the guide signatures, and how we have to um, the construct the chapters, and where it is a table of contents, what of uh, the index, everything will be there. Just go through. See, I'm selecting this. Randomly, you can see, or else you just come down. The related tax also is there. I want to um, see from the great university, Stanford University or Harvard University projects. You see, University of Malta. Otherwise, you see uh, this one, University Ravira and uh, Vietnam. The many are available. University of York. And uh, you just pick up the university. See, the Sydney University, University of Lisbonia. You just select the Cape Town and you can see that. Okay. So this is a great site. Okay. For example, I'm selecting University of Cape Town. University of Cape Town. So the University of Cape Town maintaining this report as a standard one for their people. Okay. You can click that. It will be showing the project. And this project also you can download for your uh, the purpose open template or we can see or we can download the pdf version you can have a look at it and going back even some iits also contributed their formats even some other indian uh, universities also available here we just search it so many available here many so many links are how we have to construct the project according to our standards. So in line with our standards, you can see the various options here. Yeah. So this is how I like to share regarding OER because very important, uh, the plagiarism very important. The UGC also mandate that all the reports should be plagiarized. That software should be used to check whether or what is the percentage of plagiarism, right? And uh, moreover, all your projects submitted projects also going to be placed in the open portal. So that is why if you are copying here and there, definitely somewhere you will be caught and we have to go to face and it's an offense. So why unnecessarily? You go to the right place and take, you can prepare a very good document. Thank you.